Since November is the season for giving, it is only appropriate to talk about gratitude, of course. Lifestyle blogger Caitlin Houston is here sharing tips on teaching children gratitude and how to practice gratitude in our own lives. Mm -hmm. Everybody, kids of all ages, right? Exactly, right. And that's really important, isn't it? It is. I think that, you know, in school, they try to teach children what to be thankful for and how to be grateful, but it all starts with parents because we're the ones who teach our children those things at home. You have a gratitude game here I to do. share with us. I do. So take all your leftover Halloween candy and whip it out because <laughs> if you have leftover if, candy, if you have any. <laughs> but this is a color-coded game, and it's a way to encourage your children to talk about things that they're thankful for if they don't really understand what that means. For instance, you pull out a red candy, and it's name a person you are thankful for. Um, it goes through food, places, things, and then anything of your choice. It gets them to think about things and to be vocal about it. Exactly. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, what else you have here? So then we have a craft. Um, my daughters really enjoyed doing this. We made turkeys, and on each little feather, we wrote something they were thankful for. And this was, I actually used the questions from the game to get them to give me good answers to put on the turkey. You're saying some of these answers can be surprising. Right. You know, there's a difference between my five year old and my three year old. The five year old said she's thankful for bees because they <laughs> pollinate flowers and got really into her whole reason why she loved them. And then you have um, Eileen who likes her fancy Nancy doll. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And what else? Uh, there was something else I saw that she also is thankful for her slippers. Yes, because she gets cold feet in the house. Oh, wow. All and, right. And an extension of that is just a little thankful tree. And um, that's like the giving tree right there. Exactly. Yes. That I, book. I almost brought the book. You did? Yeah, that's a, fam a very favorite book in our house. Yeah. And this is something you could actually make a mural in your home and put the little leaves on it every day, but I'm not that crafty. So. Something else you and I were talking about yes. at the dinner table on Thanksgiving. We, we make sure that everybody shares what they're thankful for. Exactly. So one way to get people to talk about this, because sometimes they don't know what to say, is to have these really cute little cards or 30 days of gratitude. So you pick one out and it says, peace. Finding stillness brings peace to your heart. What are you grateful for that brings you well, peace? Let me pick one up here and see what this one says. Reach out to a person who has made a difference in your life today and tell them why. Yes. Yeah, so you could actually do this all throughout any month of the year. You could use these on Thanksgiving. Or you could create a gratitude jar where people write things down, you pass it around, and then everyone pulls one out and reads it, and then that person has to elaborate a little bit more. I love that jar. And also, you can put all these, more of these in the jar, and then put it at somebody's desk. Yeah, that would be a really and good idea. everybody gets one, or, you know, especially on a day when you're not feeling great, you reach one. Make sure somebody, whoever's not feeling great, can go in and get one and they get this wonderful yeah, message. Yeah, I love that idea. Oh, this is great. All right, so where can people get more ideas? So on my blog, it's CaitlinHoustonBlog.com, and today the post is live with all of these ideas plus a couple more. Oh, wow. What, what didn't you share with us? Um... Just some... uh, a journal, a gratitude journal you could do with your family. That's great. Or the, a calendar. The whole month of November. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you us. for having me. Great. Gets us into the spirit of gratitude on this month. Thank you all for watching. See you Monday. Have a great weekend.